Hi, I'm Jack Mary. I've covered golf in Michigan for, oh, nearly a half a century. About as long as this establishment has been going on here at Boyne Highlands. This is the granddaddy of great golf in northern Michigan. It's the one that uh, sparked the uh, whole golf boom up here, and the man responsible is Everett Kircher. Everett uh, may not have been uh, the sole creator of this area. I think there might have been a little higher power there, but he did more than anyone else to make northern Michigan and uh, the whole state of Michigan a vacation paradise and, and a golfer's uh, dream. He was very successful in the ski business down at uh, Boyne Mountain. Ski weeks were real busy, 400, 500 people a week. He even had uh, Olympic gold medalist Stein Erickson, Otmar Schneider, another great Austrian uh, skier. But uh, Everett uh, realized that he wanted uh, something in the summer to keep his people busy. And a friend of his said, He says, Everett, what you need is a golf course. We had been fishing that morning with a fellow named Jack Harriman, who was a great friend. Uh, and, and we came back in the middle of the afternoon, we're sitting in the upstairs bar, uh, having a cold one. And he says, what do I do to get some more business in the summertime? And we were looking at this weed patch through the, through the window. And, uh... We said, well, you know, we could landscape this place a little bit or even put some golf holes out there. And uh, it, it appeared to me that the green instead of weedy or brown was, was a more attractive sight. It would, it would dress the place up a little bit. And uh, we had another beer and talked about it some more and uh, he saw the possibilities in it. And so uh, eventually we did that uh, later that afternoon, we went out and got some slalom poles, which are used in skiing, and, uh, and laid out that first little golf course that was pasted off. And he saw the play that that little golf course got. And he said, when he had acquired the Highlands, he had a lot more real estate then, what do I do? What do I, what, you know, if I want to build a first-class golf course in, in northern Michigan, how do I do it? And I told him, you know, you get the very best golf course architect you can find, who is Robert Trent Jones, you get him and have him do you a course. In those days, he was the leading architect in, in, the, in the architectural field. I couldn't believe that Everett Kirchner had not only one of the golf course, but he had a ski resort. People were coming up here in droves, and he had hotels filled in the wintertime. Uh, fascinated me. Uh, so he was the, the one that really promoted golf as well as uh, skiing in northern Michigan. Everett sent him topographical maps. He came out and he looked at the property, and they decided on, on a routing. Now, Everett didn't have a great background in golf, but Everett was a had a great engineering mind. He was a very, very smart man. And so there was a lot of Everett Kircher in this golf course, including a number of holes on, on the front that he uh, changed around that Jones, uh, Jones had not envisioned it that way. And uh, right behind me here, the signature hole at Boyne is the 18th with that great big pond in front. But when Jones originally designed this course, there wasn't a pond out there. It was just grass down there and some fairway bunkers. But Everett decided that they needed a little something to uh, uh, jazz up the final, to really uh, let the fireworks go. And it has been a sensation. It is the, uh, it's the hallmark of this golf course, not only of this course, but all of the Boyne courses, and there are something like eight of them up here in northern Michigan, more than any other resort, uh, has water on the 18th hole. We're going to uh, show you some of the terrific holes here at, at, uh, at the Heather and now and it's almost nearly a half century old now. And this is the, the course that uh, not only are all the other Boyne, Boyne courses measured against, but it was the hallmark for, for all of the golf in northern Michigan. Everybody wanted to match the Heather and no one has really done that. This course still stands alone. Jones is one of the greatest architects of all time, and Everett Kircher gave him a little bit of help along the way. And Bertie Friedrich, who's been the longtime director of golf for Boyne, is going to talk about some of the most, most important keyholes here. The Heather Golf Course, designed by Robert Trent Jones, is a classic, traditional golf course. It has 10 dog legs on it, a 
lot of water hazards, a lot of elevated greens, with deep bunkers, 60 in total, with white tour sand. Carved out of the woods with great scenery, fresh air, the Heather is the first championship golf course in northern Michigan. Now let's look at some of our featured holes. Number two is a relatively short hole, 383 yards, but a very tight driving hole with wetlands on both the left and right side. A drive of 250 yards leaves you with a short to mid iron to a very narrow green. Number four is a tough par three, plays over water, you can be stretched out from 133 yards to up to 202 with water on the front goes all the way around to the left hand side. Please think about taking an extra club here. The angulation on this goes from the back to the front and it's very steep. Bunker on the right, but there's not a lot of bailout area here. Number five is a par five, which is a great risk and reward hole. And, uh, the big hitters have an opportunity to go for it in two. It's predominantly cut out right in the wetland area. It's 560 yards long with water on the left and trees on the right. If you play it as a three shot par five with a drive of 250, you have about 180 to 210 yards left for your second shot. Your third shot then will be a short iron of 120 to 125 yards. The green is very ungulating from right to left. Number six is another par three over water with bunker on the left and a bunker on the right. What makes this hole difficult is you can't feel the wind on the tee. The green slopes from back to front and with a large bunker it's very difficult to get up and down. Number eight is a very difficult par four. It's 450 yards long with bunkers on the left. It's a very tough driving hole. An average drive of 250 yards would leave you 180 yards left. The key here is to get it in the fairway. This hole is a dogleg left, one of 10 doglegs on the Heather golf course. The second shot on number eight is 180 yards long to a very narrow green with very deep bunkers on the left and on the right. The green is very ungulating again from back to front. Number nine, a par five, we added a tee so it stretches out to 619 yards long. Driving is down a narrow chute to start. The second shot brings the water into play and there's a lot of water on the Heather Golf Course. It takes a good shot, a good wood to get it over that pond. Most people play to the right of the pond as the safe play. That leaves you about 150 to 160 yards left to an elevated hole so you need an extra club. It is guarded with deep bunkers all the way around. Again, ungulating from right to left. Number 18 is one of our signature holes, one of the greatest holes in Michigan. It's 450 yards long. It plays downhill with a force carry for your second shot. To hit a 250 yard drive, you're going to have about 180 to 200 yards left with a downhill lie that you have to carry this large pond from 140 yards from water edge to water edge. So you need a good second shot and the green is very narrow with bunkers in the back. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the show as much as we've enjoyed doing it and uh, spending time up here in beautiful northern Michigan.